A beeping noise is heard. A rogue is carrying some sort of big spider with green glowing eyes. What in Stark Sun's name is that noise? She dropped the weird metal thing gently. It would land on its four spiked feet, looking around. I have nowhere else to go, and if I go back, I'll probably be brainwashed, so can I stay here for goodness sake? Its tall, thin tail stood up like a kit. What in the great star clan is going on? It, it's on a cat. They're definitely... Also, I met your apprentice at Carrion. The thing approached the Wind Clan leader curiously. It sat like a kit. Its glowing green eyes inspected the leader. What do you think it is? It's from the two legs. The thing got up and started to break a rock, making little pieces from it. It stinks of tender path and monsters mixed. The warriors around the thing got scared. The thing grabbed the little pieces from the rock, grating stems of plants with it. What is it doing? It grabbed flowers. It was making a necklace. It did it with precision, making a rocky necklace. It's destroying our camp! That's what it's doing! Get it out of camp! You can't blame me. Your apprentice find it. It dropped the necklace in front of the leader. And I just brought it here. Huh? Shook? And there is the apprentice. Hi. Well. The thingy is destroying your camp. Huh? The metal thing. Ghost paw! Pebblepaw's hissed. Forget that thing. Come here. Now. I told you to stay in the territory. What part of that did you not understand? Well, I was attacked. I didn't run without any reason. I had no time to get back to camp. Then it was night. It looked up at Pebble Paws with its green eyes turning red. Attacked? Attacked by what exactly? What does it want now? Well... 
She walked into the camp after hours and killing a few cats. <laughs> Hi again. She cleaned the blood off her paws. Controlled for a while. And you killed some cats! Why are you so calm? Its eyes would turn yellow. It was being cautious. I've been doing it since kithood. That's why. Okay, from now on, if I end up being controlled, stop me leaving or attacking as many cats as you can. Well, good morning, cat. That almost killed me a few days ago. And who the heck is that? I went inside your camp and didn't notice. Clans really are mass rained. She leapt on to Atlas. It seemed like she was very strong. Leave now. Yeah. <sighs> are you well I'm Atlas nice to meet you too I'm choke well someone finally spoke to me without me has to so cats and clans can be polite for your information, I'm not a clan cat. Well, you are here so... And I'm a kitty pet. Spider beeped, their eyes glowing white. The kits would get scared a bit. The thing would run, the kits staying behind as the rain was dangerous. Spider would bump into a corpse. She recognized it. This was someone she had killed. Oh shoot. Yeah, uh... Spider started beeping, which would alert the whole clan. She felt very nervous. She wouldn't be allowed back into a clan if they found out. Spider tapped Choke, telling her to run. That mice brain robot just found Blazing Star dead. Do you know who? Nope. She was lying, but she was a good liar. Rising Rose couldn't tell she wasn't telling the truth. Who cares? Let that thing in. I can't deal with this today. I had to stay with a metal spider cat and a murderer.
Uh, you good? The spider may or may not have found a body that was dead because of me. Oh well then, show me. And uh, that body may or may not have been Blazing Star. What? You killed Blazing Star? I can't see anything. Neither can I. Let's get into camp, then we can talk more. <laughs>